It's off our coverage tonight. So far, U of A has sent Yuma County 1,000 coronavirus sample testing kits. After speaking with Dr. Harris from the Health Sciences Department at the school, he says they are well prepared to send as many that are needed, not only to Yuma, but across Arizona. More COVID-19 test kits are now in Yuma. The county, with the population of a little more than 200,000 people, has administered less than 700 tests. This new donation will allow for 700 more tests. Testing is broken down into two stages. The one is collection of the nasal swabs or, or the biospecimen. That then goes back to the laboratory to do the genetic test to see if you actually have the virus. Dr. Harris says that the federal government is supposed to supply these kits, but it's taking too long. That's when the university decided to step up to the plate. At first, there was difficulty finding swabs for the kits, but eventually, through small medical vendors, they managed to lock down the needed supplies. But when you're talking about millions of them, they simply aren't made in those numbers. And so there was some time involved in getting that production ramped up, and it's just now starting months and months later. Collection kits are being sent out based on priority needs. Every day they're in contact with local health officials. I expect, depending on the number of individuals who are thought to be infected, uh, we'll continue to provide additional kits in the future. Um, currently, we've done about 10,000 kits uh, for the state of Arizona. The university is prepared to supply up to 100,000 test kits across the state over the next several months. Dr. Harris also mentions that only 10% of people who get tested actually come back positive for the virus. So he recommends not seeking out to get tested unless you need medical attention. Reporting in Yuma, I'm Crystal Jimenez. Crystal, good stuff. Well, on the topic of testing, you're probably wondering how it is determined and, well, who receives a test and who does not, as well as how it's administered. News